Today I'm playing Football Manager as my favourite team, Lincoln City, but with one big difference. The entire team are giants. I then have the challenge of beating arguably the best team in game, Manchester City. If I win, I am the greatest manager of all time. If I lose, then I have to buy a Grimsby Town shirt the closest rivals of Lincoln City. I really do not want to buy a Grimsby shirt. Why have I done this to myself? Why am I doing this? So whilst I've adjusted the height of every single player in the team, I've not changed any other attributes. They are still League One, and that's maybe debatable, quality players. I've built this 5-3-2 counter-attacking formation. I think that's the best chance we've got against Man City. But also we are playing the set pieces and floating crosses into the middle to hopefully use our height to the advantage. I am also absolutely overloading the penalty area for corners. That's our best chance of scoring. We've got one going to the near post and one going to the far post. We'll find out which works better. I'm also going for long throws into the penalty area, hoping that they're going to work too. And all of our free kicks are being directed to the best header of the ball. We've got Chris Maguire on all our set pieces. He's got the best crossing and corners at 13 and 14, and the best free kick taking at 15. And our danger man is Lewis Monsma. He's the guy with 14 heading and 15 jumping reach, the best in the entire team. I'm also using a transfer update from Sort Out SI, which means I get to play with Danny Mandroyu, who is a fantastic player from Ireland. But it also means, man, did you have this guy? and um, I'll be honest it's, it might have been a mistake because he's very good and so as the players come out on the pitch it's my time to remind you that 12,642% of you are not subscribed to the channel so go ahead and subscribe to the channel I'd love to have as many of you guys subscribed as we approach 50,000 and so now we get our first look at this Lincoln City team of 6 foot 11 giants the maximum height you can have in the game and they are huge as Maguire's as Maguire's, Maguire scored! We've got the opening goal of the game and it's not a header. Oh, you love to see it. I'm not getting that Grimsby shirt. Look at this for a, an interception from Sorensen, a pass from Oakley Booth and a finish from Maguire. Another reason to get excited about that goal is I've just got the one football notification who are kindly sponsoring this video, letting me know that Lincoln are one nil up. It's the best football app out there to keep up to date with all the latest football news, scores and updates from around the world. You can follow your favorite teams and get notifications sent straight through to your phone when anything happens in a game. And now you can also watch plenty of live football and highlights from matches across the world on the app directly, which is really, really cool. So if you want to help me and the channel out, feel free to download the One Football app from the top line of the description. Man City think they're good, right? Man City think they're good. They're not. Luckily, they can't win a ball in the air. I was about to panic then. They can't win a ball in the air. We do the... Oh, disallowed. Come on, come on. You love to see it. But they've got another free kick. And I don't... Right, Haaland's offside there, easily. Rushworth makes the same anyway, it's fine. But Haaland was way offside. Man City just keep going offside. I don't like it, but we're going to have to deal with these balls. Uh, we should be dealing with them, though, given that we are literally giants right now. We've got another highlight, hopefully in our favour, as Lewis Monsma brings the ball out from the back, finds Tash and Oakley Booth, back to Lewis Monsma. Monsma can try a long ball up towards Paul, who wins it, and he's got a bit of time and space to pick a pass back to Monsma, who's had a lot of the ball in this highlight so far. Now finds a long diagonal ball out to Robson. Not quite sure what the Man City right back's doing there. Nowhere near Robson. The ball in the middle is good. Ball in the middle is good. Maguire heads it down and that is exactly what we're trying to do here. Maguire with his second. He's not actually that good in the air at all, but the fact he's six foot eleven, he'll beat everyone. It's fine. 2 0. And I was not expecting this. I mean, we've still got League One quality players in the team. And yet, we're doing this to Man City. Man City, though, are going to try and flex themselves now. I'm not quite sure why they're still trying to get crosses in the middle. They know how tall we are. Surely Pep Guardiola can react to this, and instead they're now playing it on the floor. Okay, well, I shouldn't have spoken. <laughs> Why did I speak too soon? Why? I must say, this is a delightful finish from Bernardo Silva. I mean, pick that one out, basically. But match stats are looking good right now. Match stats are looking very good in our favour. If we can just get to half-time winning 2-1, it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Oh, and we have just about done it. We're at half-time. Uh, Man City have had more shots than us now, more possession. But we have had better XG. And obviously everyone knows you win it on XG. So I just want a nice quiet second half now. We're two one up. Um, I should say away to Man City as well. I hadn't realized that. Um, I should have, hmm, that's not ideal. We should be playing at home to give us the biggest advantage possible. Uh, but we are playing away to Man City and nothing is happening in this second half. 
Are we about to do... We've not seen a single highlight from a corner, by the way. I put all our hopes on corners and set pieces. We play for set pieces. I don't think we've seen a single corner on a highlight for us. Oh, my word, as Mares comes close, we've got to be careful from their set pieces, haven't we? We've got to be careful. And as the clock is ticking down, I mean, Man City are in the ascendancy right now. They've been much better, and yet we're holding them off right now. There's not a highlight happening. Am I about to beat Man City with Lincoln City, although they are all giants? And does this mean I'm not going to buy a Grimsby shirt? Come on, the clock. The clock is good. We've won that. I can't believe we've done that. What an absolute result there. Man City actually played better than us. And yet we come away 2-1 winners and there wasn't a single set piece on a highlight for us, which is rather frustrating. You know, I'm not quite sure what we've done with all our corners. I mean, to be fair, we only had three of them. But you would have thought with, I think we have about seven players in the area, all six foot eleven. Why are none of them scoring from a corner? That's what I want to know. Actually, it's quite a good job we won that because the only Grimsby shirt available on their website is a five extra small junior replica home kit. So like, I'm never going to wear that. Although obviously I'm a Lincoln fan, so I wouldn't have worn it even if I got it in my size. So actually, maybe that's actually a good idea to get it cheaper. I mean, Chris Maguire was meant to get the assists in this. He's got 13 crossing, 15 free kicks, and yet he got the two goals. And you know what? We'll take it. Lewis Monsman was meant to be our big target man, but I mean, he did nothing there with a 6.9 rating in that game against Man City. He was anonymous. But on loan from Stoke, Tasha and Oakley Booth, he picked up one of the assists for Chris Maguire. And the other came from Jamie Robson playing at the left wing back role. He got an assist there with a great cross for Chris Maguire's header. If he delivers balls like that all season in real life, I'll be a very happy man. Oh, I am. I'm just relieved. I'm just relieved more than anything else, really. Hopefully my heart rate's going to start going down. I was very stressed about the prospect of having to buy a Grimsby shirt, but we don't have to now. Until the next challenge, at least, when we might have to put that one up for grabs again. Let me know in the comments what challenges you want to see going forward in the future. And if you want to see more videos of mine, I'll put a link right next to me right now to another video.